Well, in case you couldn't guess, I'm Scott and this is a nickel metal hydride battery comparison. I'm going to save you the time watching the whole video if you just want to know the results, which is probably why you're here. I would recommend either the Amazon high capacity cells, the EBL 2300 milliamp hour cells, and or the Sunlabs 2800 milliamp hour cells. These are all AA batteries. I didn't test uh, AAAs or anything else. I was just looking for double A's. And at the prices right now, it's $21.99 for a 16 pack of the EBL batteries. Um, that is really cheap. In fact, uh, it's the cheapest of all of them and they're uh, pretty decent batteries to boot. So you're paying about half the price, I think, of the Eneloop Pros and getting nearly as much capacity per cell. And if you lose these, it hurts a lot less because they're a lot cheaper. So right now, let me show you how I tested these and uh, the results in more detail, if that's what you want. So let me uh, go over to myself in uh, narration land. Uh, thanks, me. To test the cells, I'm using the Opus BTC3400 that you see here, which can both charge and discharge four cells independently at a selectable current. Charging was done at 300 milliamps, while the discharge test you see here was done at 700 milliamps. I recorded each of these test cycles at one frame of video every 5 seconds, and since it's being played back at 24 frames per second, you're seeing this happen at 120 times actual speed. It took up to 3.5 hours to discharge each group of cells, which means this testing took nearly 30 hours to complete in total. Of course, repeating the test for each group of cells would have led to more accurate results, but there are plenty of other things wrong with this testing that I'll get into later, and time was a factor. However, this should prove to be a solid guide at the very